I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Optiplex 3080 model and this is the micro version and in this video I'm gonna take you over how you can open it up and how you can add a Wi-Fi card normally they don't come up with a Wi-Fi card and I see people buying a USB adapter for the Wi-Fi they don't last you a long time they do break down easy it is better to add a Wi-Fi card inside the PC and I'm going to take you on step by step how you can do that. It's really simple. I'll leave the link for a good Wi Fi. Yeah, you can purchase, you can get a Wi Fi 6 or Wi Fi with a Bluetooth. Normally, they do come with a Bluetooth. Also, you can purchase a cable with an antennas and you can jam it right inside there to get a better reception. This one is only Wi Fi, it has only one antenna space right in there. So if you get on a Wi-Fi 6 with a Bluetooth, you get two jacks, you can pop in the antennas. Without the antennas, do work too, but the range is not far enough. All right. So, you know, it's really easy and fast and forward to do this. All you need to do is to unscrew the screw at the back. So go ahead and unscrew it. Once you have unscrewed it, all you need to do is to pull the top cover towards yourself about one centimeter, and then you just want to lift up the top cover and just put it to one side and right away you come and see this caddy right here you might have a hard drive in here you might not all you need to do is to pinch these two sides together and then push it towards the front end of the pc and lift it up and right away you're going to see an m.2 vlan wlan wireless lan m.2 slot right here and there's a screw hole right there they do not give you a screw for this one but you can get any M.2 screw. You can get it from any shop in the electronic. I'll leave the link for a kit of the M.2 screws in case you want to purchase yours. All right. Once you have the card in, all you need to make sure the notch on the card matches the notch right in here. This one has only one notch right there. They usually normally come with one notch under them. Your board might have like a few notches on them, a couple of them. Doesn't matter as long as the notch matches right there and you can just slide it in 10 or 15 degree all the way in there and you're going to see this springy type right there and all you need to do is to grab a screwdriver set i'll grab a phillips number one from the ipx screwdriver set and all you need to do is to screw it down over m.2 right there i do not have the antennas right here on hand but it's really easy all you need to do is pop in the antennas right on the jack and just jam it right around the corners and tape it right around the plastic and that's all to it and once you finish with that one just grab the caddy or the hard drive that you have place it in the offset position just like that and then slide it towards the back and you should click it and the last thing is grab the bottom cover set it down with an offset position the same way that you picked it up and then you just want to slam it right there and that should be all and don't forget to tighten up once you do a windows update you go inside the windows go to windows update and it should update the drivers and install it for you i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did you know what to do please that like and subscribe to support the channel if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching